Welcome everyone. So today in lab, we'll be working on gene editing and growing bacterial colonies using CRISPR-Cas9. Before we begin, here's a little trivia question. So what is the purpose of Cas9? The correct answer is B. It cuts strands of DNA at specific sites. So LAXE is the gene that is being edited and homology director repair repairs the breaks. So let's first start off um, by cleaning our stations. So we'll need the pipette tips, the pipette, a sharpie, an ice bucket, the inoculating loop, as well as the spreader. And then the two provided plates, the first without arabinose and the second with arabinose. And the purpose of arabinose is to repair. The A plasmid is the donor, and the B plasmid is the donor plus guide, and the calcium chloride is the transformation buffer. You will also need four Eppendorf tubes. Next, you want to grab your Sharpie and label the four tubes. So the first tube, you want to label it D plus ARA, meaning that there is arabinose in it. The second tube is D minus ARA, which is there's no arabinose. The third tube is DG plus arabinose, that means donor guide and arabinose. And the last one is DG minus ARA, which means that it has a donor guide but doesn't have arabinose. Set a P1000 micropipette to 250 microliters. Grab the transformation solution. and transfer the 250 microliters to the tube labeled D plus ARA. Repeat this step for the remaining three tubes. Place all tubes with transformation buffer into the ice bath. Although I wasn't shown, make sure to repeat the steps with the DG tubes. Grab the two plates that were shown in the beginning. Another trivia question is, what are the components on the kicks media on the plate? The correct answer is all of the above. The K stands for canamycin, which is used in the growth of E. coli. The I stands for IPTG, which induces expression of beta-gal, which allows E. coli to hydrolyze lactose. And the X in KIC stands for X-gal, which hydrolyzes beta-galactose to produce the blue pigment. Using an inoculating tube, take five colonies from the arabinose plus plate and add it into the plus arabinose tube and do the same for a minus arabinose. And here is a close-up of how the colony should look like. Make sure to close the cap and open the tube and put, place the inoculating loop in it and swirl. Repeat the same thing for all the other test tubes. Using a P20 micropipette, set it to 10 microliters and grab the plasmid A, which is the tube with just the donor. Place that into the first tube labeled D. Repeat the step with the other tube that's labeled D. So both tubes labeled D plus ARA and D minus ARA should have plasmid A in them. Repeat the same process with plasmid B in the DG tubes. Ensure to flick the tubes before placing all the tubes on ice. 10 minutes later. After placing the tubes on ice for at least 10 minutes, um, place them into the heat shock for 45 seconds. Then place the tubes on ice for two minutes. Two very boring minutes later. Now we'll be adding the LB broth to all of the tubes. Set a P1000 micropipette to 250 microliters. Add 
add 250 microliters of LB to all four of the tubes that should be placed in ice. Ensure to flick the tubes to mix properly. Repeat this process with the remaining tubes and once the LB is inside, incubate these tubes at room temperature for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Next, we'll be naming the plates. So grab the P200 micropipette, split 100 microliters, and then take four plates and using a Sharpie, label each one of the plates as follows. Using the micropipette, take 100 microliters of the sample from the test tube and plate it on to the corresponding plate. Evenly spread the mixture on the plate using a sterile spreader. Make sure to add the samples from the three remaining tubes to their corresponding plates so that you have a total of four completed plates. One eternity later. Now place all four plates auger side up in a stack to be incubated at 37 degrees Celsius overnight. Congratulations, now it's your turn. You will all have the chance to gene edit using CRISPR-Cas9. Follow the provided procedures and make sure to ask for help when needed. Good luck!